This is a demonstration of one of the new capabilities for feature templates in the June 2023 release of NX. Uh, I want to show some new capabilities for parameter tables in NX in the context of a feature template. Uh, to be clear, parameter tables can certainly be used without creating a feature template, but they can be used together in some uniquely powerful ways. So on the screen here, we have a, uh, a small feature template that is a chunk of plastic <laughs> with some veins on it here. This particular one you can see uh, in the reuse library. It knows it's a feature template. I've opened this for editing here now. And in this context, um, we're actually in the, the Template Studio author uh, tool here already. We've got uh, six fins and, and uh, uh, there's a square kind of spline hole down the middle of this guy right now. Um, if we look at our, our interface here, we can see what we have already for this particular template. Uh, there is a couple of things you'll notice. Uh, at the very top here, we, we've got a, a parameter table identified on our dialog. And as we look at our Template Studio Navigator here, at the very bottom, you'll notice that there's a parameter table available in this part. Uh, this will show up when all of the expressions in the, the part, expressions up here, <laughs> all of the expressions in the part are, are uh, available to the template, then the, uh, the, the parameter table will be also. And, uh, and so this gives us the ability to choose from some pre-configured options here, pre-configured uh, shapes and orientations of these, uh, this particular chunk of geometry, right? Um, that we can put that table, uh, add this table object to our, our dialog, and it'll, it'll give us all of those options, right? Those configurations. Um, there also here, you'll notice, is a, a field here for some custom parameters. Right. And if we've, we're in this none state right here where we're not choosing one of the, the out of the box ones that are out of the box, I say one of the ones that's already in the parameter table. If we're not choosing a, a, a pre existing configuration, then we can come in and enter uh, some new values here for the, a new start point, a new axis direct vector, axis vector, for instance, um, new size and number of fins and all those kinds of things. And uh, we can do this uh, again if we're not in one of the existing. Uh, configurations out there. When we're in an existing configuration, these expressions will be locked and, uh, and these will be insensitive in our dialogue. Okay. Now, that, that much of it um, should be familiar <laughs> from previous versions. The thing you may notice here is that some of these are not numbers, right? We've got a point and a vector here that are point expression and a vector expression that we can use to identify these, uh, these guys. Um, the shape type right here is a string. This is saying either a straight or a conical, and this is letting us choose from a couple of strings. And uh, also we've got a, a Boolean expression down here at the bottom, actually, that uh, lets us choose uh, whether or not to show that, that center hole. Okay, so let's go look at the parameter table here for just a second. I'm going to cancel out of Template Studio, and inside this part, again, we have a parameter table that is this this one that we just exposed on the uh, the dialog. In the parameter table, you'll notice again that uh, we're not just numbers, right? So this is a new thing in this release of NX where we can have points and vectors and strings and booleans in here as uh, options within our parameter table. So that's exciting. Uh, the very first release of parameter tables, I think was back in NX 1899, about three years ago. And uh, back in that version, there was a very specific need from one of our uh, one of our applications inside NX for the parameter table functionality. We uh, we got in the stuff they needed uh, right away, and uh, that was very successful. Um, we've we've let it sit for a couple of years as we've as people have started to uh, to adopt it. We've been listening to feedback on usability and so forth. So there's some things that that uh, we've done here in this release that uh, we think you'll like. Um, the, the first, of course, is the data types, right? To get these other data types exposed uh, inside here. So, so the various other kinds of, of uh, uh, expressions, not just uh, uh, actually, I guess, yeah, this top one's a number. The second one's actually an integer, right? This one's not actually a, a full number either. So that one's new. Um, point vector string and, and, and Boolean, of course, are available here. Uh, we've not exposed list yet. We're not sure that makes sense <laughs> in the context of a parameter table, but, uh, but go ahead and let us know if you, if you've got a use case that makes sense there. Um, a couple other usability things in here. Uh, one of the things we've not been able to do before, but we can now is to reorder these, uh, parameters on the side here. If that makes sense, we can grab one of these and drag this up, for instance, and say, put that one higher in the table or, 
or uh, again, grab one and, and bring it down, for instance. And that's all very easy to do now. Uh, similarly with the configurations, these may or not be created in the, the order that you, you really like in the end, right? Before they were always in creation order, kind of left to, le left to right. Um, and, uh, and as we're, we're exploring a parametric model, sometimes we, uh, we think of things in different orders. We've added a, a, con a configure columns here. A a again, exact same widget as you see in a lot of the other parts of NX, where we can say, for instance, if we want these X and Y to, to be up before this first and second here, we can move those up. And, and that, of course, will rearrange our columns over here on this side. Okay. One more thing with configurations. Um, we've had the ability from here out here to MB3 and delete one of these configurations if we wanted to. Um, just for usability's sake, we also added the ability to do the same thing inside, right? Uh, so that one's a new teeny new little thing in there. Okay. Now, um, so the parameter, it's parameter table itself, again, we're going to reorder, we can reorder there, reorder up here, uh, and then include all of the data types here. Uh, and, and that's, that's all good. There, there are times when we've got these pre-configured ones in the table, uh, but as we're exploring a parametric model out there, potentially using the template interface, we may have a new configuration that's useful that we decide that we want to save, right? And there was one of our, our field application engineers who wrote a customization to do this uh, that was super clever. <laughs> and so we, uh, we liked that idea a lot. We took that idea and, uh, and put it into the core software here now with this release. And what this lets us do is if we're looking in the author tool here, the, the author of the template can choose uh, when they expose a parameter table here to also uh, optionally expose the ability to add new rows to the table, right? Add new, uh, sorry, new configurations, new, new columns. So um, on this parameter table control down here, there's this optional toggle here to enable add configuration. And as we turn this on, this is going to add one more line of UI inside here that allows us to uh, enter a new name for a new configuration and to add that new configuration. And again, this will save this into the table, okay, which is pretty exciting. So let's turn that on in this context here. And uh, let's go ahead and save this, finish this, and we'll, we'll save this uh, template. And uh, so our one in the reuse library now is saved with the ability to, to add new configurations, okay? Um, I've got a little regular start part down here. This just has some, uh, some points and vectors in it that we can use to, to create some of these guys. And uh, so let's see how this works. So we can take one of these and, and drag it out here, for instance. Um, again, we can choose one of our, our standard uh, configurations here. And as we do that, you'll notice that it locks these, right? Because it's it has all of these contained in the table. It's going to use the values from the table instead of taking different input here. Um, and as we do that, this is our, our standard one. Uh, let's do the Y just for fun. It'll go in this direction over here. And, and as I recall, it's got fewer fins. <laughs> let's go ahead and say OK and see what we get. There we go. So that's heading off in the Y direction. It's got five fins instead of six. And it looks like that center hole is suppressed on this one here as well, right? Um, we can go back, of course, and edit this uh, either from the, the model history or out here in the, the graphics area and, and choose a different uh, orientation here and, and, and direction and so forth that uh, is, is this guy. So this one is a, a different orientation altogether. Three fins. It's got the whole back, a smaller diameter in the center and so forth. Right. So, so these are the standard configurations, right, that are, that are up here um, and available from the table. Um, we also, again, can go to the none configuration here now. And in this context, uh, again, we've got these live now, right? And we're able to put in new values for these and, uh, and come up with uh, a new configuration that we want. Um, we can choose to save that or not save that, right? Just in the context of this feature, we might say, for instance, that we want this one to start up here. And uh, for the axis vector on this guy here, we might say that we want it to follow... Um, Let's see, we could say follow the Z on this one, right? Uh, see if we can, yeah, let's do Z, positive Z. There we go. So that'll be headed up in the air. Um, we'll do a smaller diameter on this guy as well. And uh, say the number of fins, we'll, we'll do a small number here and, and, uh, and do conical for this guy too, right? And uh, we'll, we'll 
um, leave the center hole. Actually, let's hide it. <laughs> okay, so so we've we've created a new a new configuration, which is this guy, right? Kind of a little rocket plug here on the top, and um, and we might want to save that, right? Uh, if we do, what we can do here is is add here our our uh, our new Z rocket plug just for fun, and uh, again poke our add configuration. And what this will do is add that to this list up in here. It's going to save it into the parameter table here, and we'll have that available for next time. So as we add that configuration, it button goes insensitive because we already have one called Z rocket plug, <laughs> and uh, and we'll see that up in here as an option now for our uh, our uh, uh, template, right? So there's our X is that one down there. And if we come in, we can choose that new one that we just saved and we'll see that get replayed. Okay. So that's pretty exciting. Uh, several things going on there, of course. Um, we mentioned we've got the parameter tables, uh, editability, um, the new data types in here, dragging and dropping, reordering columns and so forth uh, in here. But then also in conjunction with the template, the ability to, uh, of course, embed the configurations in here but new thing in this release is this ability to to add the line to to add new configurations and save those into the to the part as well which is pretty exciting okay so i hope that's useful to you